Hi, Eleanor. Grandma's got a wonderful story for you today. It's called Swimmy, and it's by Leo Leone. And do you know what this place is? Uh-huh. That's the water. That's the ocean. Oh, we're going to find out what lives in the ocean. Let's see. Oh, and be sure to check out all of the pictures. Leo Leone painted all of these pictures himself, too. Swimmy by Leo Leone. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters, and his name was Swimmy. So all of these little red fish are the same shape and size as Swimmy, but he's a different color, isn't he? One bad day, a tuna fish, swift and fierce and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all of the little red fish and only Swimmy escaped. Oh no, that big fish ate all of the little fish. Wow, look at the pretty colors that Leo Leone used for the water. There's greenish up here and dark blue down here and the tuna fish is black, isn't he? He sw his swimmy swam away in the deep world he was scared and lonely and very sad. He's missing his brothers and sisters, isn't he? He's all alone. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures. And he swam from marvel to marvel. Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa rainbow jellyfish. Oh, how pretty. Look at its, I don't know what those are called, tentacles? Look a lot like the leaves that are growing on the bottom of the ocean. And there's Swimmy watching his new friend. And he saw a lobster who walked along like a big water moving machine. There's Swimmy looking at him. See his claws? He can grab stuff in his claws. And he saw some strange fish that seemed to be pulled along by invisible threads. I think they hardly moved at all. They just swam without moving. and a whole forest of seaweeds growing from the sugar candy rocks. There's Swimmy. I had trouble finding him. Did you see him there? Yeah. Pretty colors. And an eel. There's an eel. A long skinny fish with no legs and no fins. He seemed almost, his tail was almost too far away to remember. There's Swimmy looking at his tail. <laughs> and sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Those are pretty anemones. And I, oh, I see something else down here. I see a starfish. And I think that might be a sand dollar and another starfish over here. Cool. And then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish, just like his own. Oh my goodness, he's so happy he's found some friends. Let's go swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't. 
said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie here, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. And suddenly, he said, I have it. We're going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. There he is, talking to all the little red fish. Let's swim together. And so he taught them how to swim close together, each in his own place, but side by side. Look at that. There he goes, that one. And he's showing them where to go. And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look like one big red fish? Oh goodness. All together they can look like a big fish. Now what are they gonna do? Oh boy, there they are. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. <laughs> he does look like a, they look like a big red fish. And those bigger fish are scared of them. They don't know that they're just little red fish there. It worked. Swimmy's idea worked. And that's the end of the story. Isn't that a pretty book? Oh my goodness. I wonder how Mr. Leone made all these shapes, different colors like that, out of paint. That might be fun to try sometime. Very cool. Swimmy by Leo Leone. I hope you like that book. And you can stay cool in your pool too, can't you? You can pretend that you're a little fish. That's right. Bye-bye.